How are you all doing today? It's AJ Lad here. Welcome back to Life is Strange, Episode Three, Part Two. Let's continue. Okay, we have to. Have a t we're going to have to take a shower. Okay, let's. Uh, I should head to the bathroom and shower. Before yeah, mom. probably a good idea. Before just, your mum's probably going to catch you. Is mom playing music? Uh, sounds <laughs> like it. Yes, I know. Let's let's take our shower first. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? That's a good. That's okay. a good question. My towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just calmly look for it. Let's calmly look for it. Probably on the fucking... Uh, search in here. Oh, what? It's empty. No awesome pirate towel. Lots of washcloths. No towel. Oh, man. Shit around here. <laughs> Gross. Man, where's this bloody tail? and I were so into this shit when we were <laughs> kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Interesting. Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water. Don't let me down. No, please don't let us down. I want a good shower. Mum's probably gonna kill you, but oh well, who cares? Williams close. What do I feel like wearing on this crazy ass day? <laughs> You're gonna make me decide, aren't you? Of course you are. Okay, um Oh man. Let's go a dragon. Let's have a crazy day. <laughs> Let's 
She's not happy. <laughs> okay, is it the shoes, is it? All right. One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Okay, let's head down Dad's to the garage. Dad's should be in the garage downstairs. Exactly, yes. Still playing those tunes. Okay, nothing else up here. Let's go downstairs. Here goes, here goes nothing, yeah. What are the chances I can avoid Mom or David? Very slim. <laughs> very, very, very slim, I reckon. Uh, one of them will one of them will catch me. <coughs> Probably mum. She'll she'll catch me, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. True though, she does, yes. Hey, who's there? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Of course, she's gonna kill me about the hair. I'm also glad you came home, Chloe. I'm not staying long. I'm... I'm not staying long. Just... <laughs> picking up some stuff. Oh. Are you... coming home tonight? Mom... I, I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. Just hanging out. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go... Don't you walk away from your David mother has like that. To say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. <laughs> Chloe, I, uh... I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. <laughs> Please. Just have um, a little bit of patience first. Owe you an apology. <laughs> Let's hear it. <laughs> Chloe, I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. I was, uh... Thing. Out of line. Yeah. And I'm sorry. Okay. Apology accepted. Really? Yeah. <laughs> good job. And good job, Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. Chloe. What? It's great. 
He listens to you. Can we be done now? Wait, one second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been meaning to show you something. Maybe, maybe now's a good time. Oh, God. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into <laughs> once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. All right, I'll accept it. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. Because they were close. Thank you. Oh, best buddies. David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. <laughs> I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right. All right. <laughs> what the hell? Rice? Okay. Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Very, very quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. Could be. But what we just grabbed there is going to help fix the truck, though. <laughs> Get the big truck on the road. Welcome to the welcome to the junkyard. Run, run. <laughs> Come on. We can do it. We can do it together. Work with me here. So much for having a shower. 
<laughs> Damn it! Oh, shite! Better. But still needs a bit more... Love. love. Yes, yeah, she does. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. Okay, let's have a look. Intake. Let's have a look at the intake first. <clears throat> Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Sometime before I was born. <laughs> That's about it. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. Alright, we'll leave it. Um, look at the battery. Let's check out the battery first. This connection is pretty shaky. Oh, okay, that's not I good. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Well, let's get a grip on it. <laughs> Should do the trick. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. Good. That's what we want to hear. Okay, let's check out the... This thing cat. seems pretty gunked up. Mmm. Yeah. She, needs, she does need, she does need a bit of love. Else. Okay. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Ooh, let's have a look. Grab that wrench. Go back. Wrench it up. Fucking hell. <laughs> Excuse my French, but Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, that is loose. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Okay, let's look at the fuel filter. That's probably uh, fucked. Probably no good at all. Let's have a look. This thing is going to the fuck up. <laughs> yep. <coughs> Maybe. <laughs> sick. That is sick. In both ways. That's sick, sick, and actually sick. <laughs> Alright, we're getting there with the beast. What have we got? Our distributor. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Okay, we got something in the toolbox. Oh shit, no, 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 wrong button. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. Yeah, I know, I know. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Okay, try that. That should help keep shit distributed. <laughs> yeah, it should do. Well, fuck. Yeah, reattach it. Don't leave it like that, Go woman. Back from whence you came. That's it. Spark plugs busted. Yep. Carbon deposits. Of course. Well, wouldn't they have been sitting around for so long? Yeah.
Yes, there should be better ones, hopefully. Please. I need you. Holy fucking holy fuck. Uh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Calm down, woman. <laughs> Love the life. <laughs> Fuck yeah! She did it. Or we did it. Queen, where are you at? Hey, holy shit, your hair is so <laughs> unique, badass. <laughs> exactly, yeah, it's badass. That shirt looks awesome, too. I might add, you like anything that starts fire. <laughs> hey, I'm not sure if you saw. But someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Yeah, might as well. <laughs> Got the base running. Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? Yeah. Hey, I thought we were cool after that Drew North thing. Don't you want to be cool? Yeah, we're cool. I just want to talk to Frank. As long as you don't get in the way, we'll be fine. I told you, she's like this. Gotta say, I really dig the whole tough girl thing. Frank was right about you. How'd you like to work full time for us? Don't fucking touch her. Yeah. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yep. Yeah. True story. It's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't. Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you. But he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now why you give a shit about this woman. Yeah, not your business. This is between us and Frank. It's none of your fucking business. Yeah. The problem is, you made it my business. 
And your tough girl shit is starting to get on my nerves. Good, 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 good. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is. Now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon. Your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Wow. <laughs> Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Oh, ah! oh it's Steph. <laughs> oh, you fucking bitch. Geary, let's go. That's it. Oh man. Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. 
Everything happened so fast. Do you know who Damon Merrick is? Or why he hates you? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So shit. So, I got my dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? Scare us away. I, I think he wanted to scare us so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? It was it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. It wasn't only that. She was already angry about Damon pushing me around. She is like her mother. <laughs> Quick-tempered, rash. I've always been afraid of losing her the way I lost Sarah. What happened next? Damon had a knife out, and we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. What about what Damon? Are you going to do about Damon? <coughs> yeah. Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have. Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> hey. Steph. How's Mikey? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. <coughs> yeah, I'll think about it. <laughs> I don't think I can sit still any longer. Yeah, you've probably been here for hours and hours and hours. Well, stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. 